Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy, and we are finishing up our research that I've been looking up on wikipedia.org. I I encourage you to do your own research. Uh, We're looking up Shigeru Miyamoto, and uh, he's a big inspiration to me. Uh, He is the creator of the uh, Nintendo uh, Entertainment System, um, Super Mario... Uh, Legend of Zelda, Link, uh, the Super Smash Brothers, uh, the Metroid uh, series, all kinds of excellent cartoony and and delightfully imaginative video games that have stayed the test of time. Even even today, they are still enjoyable because there is a certain... um, There's a certain delightful charm to these characters and these, uh, these worlds that he's created that uh, that are very much like watching classic Disney Disney movies and um, I find them very imaginative they, they, they take me to another world every time I go into play Legend of Zelda or, or one of the Super Mario Brothers games I find I get transported to another world that's very lighthearted cartoony full of bright colors and exciting adventures and character and enemies to, to battle monsters to battle so Great, great uh, guy. Um, we're researching 2011 to present. Um, Nintendo Wii U, 3DS, Switch, and other projects. So I just before we begin, I just encourage you to, uh, if you haven't already, please uh, uh, bookmark, follow my um, my podcast, which I just started a, a, week, a couple of weeks ago on Anchor.fm. The podcast is called Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast and it will be shared on my YouTube channel in video form, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't already. It will also be shared on my website, VideoGamersOasis.com. So please make sure to give that a little bit of a, a gander. It's still under development, but it's making progress. Shigeru Miyamoto, 2011 to present. Nintendo Wii U, 3DS, Switch, and other projects. Unlike in the 2000s, in which he was involved on many projects as producer, Miyamoto's activities in development were less pronounced in that decade, with Miyamoto only producing Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and Star Fox Zero in that decade. Otherwise, Miyamoto was credited as general producer, executive producer, and supervisor for most projects, which are positions with much less involvement in comparison to a producer. In 2015, Nintendo announced that a Nintendo-themed park in partnership with Universal Parks and Resorts called Super Nintendo World and Miyamoto became the Nintendo representative for it. Following the death of Nintendo president Satoru Iwata in July 2015, Miyamoto was appointed as an acting representative director alongside
alongside Genyo Takeda, he was relieved of the position in September 2015 when Tatsumi Kimishima assumed the role of the company's president. He was also appointed the position of creative fellow at the same time, providing expert advice to Kimishima as a support network alongside Takeda. In 2018, it was announced that Miyamoto would be working as a producer on the Super Mario movie by Illumination Entertainment. I want to end, uh, end this episode with a little bit of uh, development philosophy of Miyamoto. Development philosophy. People have paid me a lot of lip service, calling me a genius storyteller or a talented animator, and have gone so far as to suggest that I try my hand at movies, since my style of game design is, in their words, quite similar to making movies. But I feel that I am not a movie maker, but rather that my strength lies in my pioneering spirit to make use of technology to create the best interactive commodities possible. And use that interactivity to give users a game they can enjoy and play comfortably. That was Shigeru Miyamoto translated. Miyamoto and Nintendo as a whole do not use focus groups. Instead, Miyamoto figures out if a game is fun for himself. He says that if he enjoys it, others will too. He elaborates, citing the conception of the Pokemon series as an example. And that's the point, not to make something sell, something very popular, but to love something and to make something that we creators can love. It's the very core feeling we should have in making games. Miyamoto wants players to experience Kaiokan, K-Y-O-K-A-N, Kaiokan. He wants, and he, his words were, the players to feel about the game what the developers feel felt themselves. He then tested it with friends and family. He encourages younger developers to consider people who are new to gaming. For example, by having them switch their dominant hand with their own hand to feel the experience of an unfamiliar game. Miyamoto's philosophy does not focus on hyper-realistic graphics, although he realizes they have their place. He is more focused on the game mechanics, such as the choices and challenges in the game Similar to how manga artists subverted their genre, Miyamoto hopes to subvert some of the basic principles he had popularized in his early games, retaining some elements but eliminating others. His use of real-time rendered cinematics, not, not pre-rendered video, serves both his own rapidly interactive development process with no rendering delays and the player's interaction with the game's continuity. He prefers to change his games right until they are finalized and to make something unique and unprecedented. He prefers the game to be interactively fun rather than have elaborate film sequences, stating in 1999, I will never make movie-like games. Therefore, the more than 90 minutes of Part 90 total minutes of short cutscenes interspersed throughout Ocarina of Time deliver more interactive cinematic, cinematic qualities. His vision mandates a rapid and malleable development process with small teams, as when he directed sub substantial changes to the overall game scenario in the final months of the development of Ocarina of Time. He said, the reason behind using such a simple process, as I am sure you have all experienced in the workshop, is that there is a total limit 
on team energy. There is a limit to the work a team can do, and there is a limit to my own energy. We opted not to use that limited time and energy on pre-rendered images for use in cinema scenes, but rather on tests on other interactive elements and polishing up the game. For these reasons, he opposes pre-rendered cutscenes of Ocarina of Time. He says, we were able to make use of truly cinematic methods with our camera work without relying on pre-rendered video. In 2003, he described his fundamental dislike of the role-playing game, RPG for short, genre. I think that an RPG, with an RPG, you are completely bound, hand and foot, and can't move. But gradually, you become able to move your hands and legs. You become slightly untied. And in the end, you feel powerful. So what you get out of an RPG is a feeling of happiness. But I don't think there's something that's fundamentally fun to play. With a game like that, anyone can become really good at it. With Mario, though, if you're not good at it, you may never get good. And on that note, we'll take a little break here. Um, we'll continue on our research of Shigeru Miyamoto for another episode. Uh, we're going to look up the impact uh, and influence on the game industry. Um, we're going to look up, uh, you know, his commercial reception as well, critical reception, uh, awards, recognition, and finally his personal life. But we'll we'll see how that develops in the timeline. We're just going to take a little break. Thank you for tuning in to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy. Hope you enjoyed looking researching Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, perhaps, you know, he can be a bit of an inspiration to us as gamers as well as game designers with all the talk of uh, recent talk of the um, the failure of the um, the, co the print the releases of the uh, of the uh, cyberpunk 2077 perhaps we, game designers can learn from Shigeru Miyamoto learn from his example on on how to make a video game uh, definitely I appreciate his his quotation when he mentioned about um, not making a movie, but making a game and doing it for the love of it and sharing that love with the audience. That is something I feel that is lacking in today's video games. If we can learn more from Miyamoto's quotation, perhaps game designers can uh, create video games that are created out of love. The love of the characters, the love of the story, the love of the adventure, rather than just chugging out um, bubblegum packaged uh, games. Just some, Just some food for thought. Thanks for tuning in. I will continue another day. Uh, if you have, uh, haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis. Click the notification bell on YouTube. Um, this video will be, be um, edited and put into a video format. Follow my uh, anchor.fm uh, podcast, if you please. Anchor.fm, Video Gamers Oasis. It's also on Spotify. So if you check out my uh, podcast on Spotify, you can also follow me there. Check out my uh, Twitter. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter, VJ underscore tweets. My Facebook business page is Video Gamers Oasis, and I have an Instagram, Video Gamers Oasis, and a <laughs> a TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok, which I uh, from time to time will release a lighthearted, funny video to promote my uh, work. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care of each other this holiday season. We'll talk to you again in the future. All the best. Oh yeah, and I'm probably going to be playing on my Video Gamers Oasis Twitch channel. Very soon, I, I, I'm kind of uh, getting a, I'm getting a hunger for some classic NES, The Legend of Zelda. So I'll probably be playing some starting, starting from from the very beginning of The Legend of Zelda on my Twitch. So please follow me on Twitch, Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. You've been watching Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, and I'm your host Jeremy. Till next time. Bye. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcasts would like to thank this episode's sponsor, Mogo Crypto. 
Mogul's got the triple threat. Free dollars to buy Bitcoin. Free ID fraud protection. And the free Mogul card that helps you save money and fight climate change. Took me two minutes to sign up. Check it out. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash two capital K lowercase L capital B lowercase L lowercase R cap, capital O. Click that link and you can sign up on the web page that cons- coincides with that link. Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel